so welcome uh, to today's uh, lecture. The title today is Cosmos and Culture. Cultural activities are our attempt to answer the question, what is our place in the universe? The question of uh, that we, what, what we are all here trying to answer of, you know, where did we come from? What, what's happening out there? What is this, uh, you know, drive, this question that we try to uh, answer and why? At the heart of our associations with the word heavens, lies the shared experiences of all cultures throughout history. A sense of awe and wonder at the sky above and our perception of celestial order that far outshines the booming, buzzing confusion on Earth. In Western culture, the cosmos of Judeo-Christian scripture can be found in works such as Dante's Inferno, Botticelli's uh, The Birth of, of Venus, the movie Angels and Demons, the Zodiac, Milton's Paradise Lost, and so Kiefer, the, the Subaru, the movie uh, 2012, a piece called Magnetar, and Haydn's Oratorio di Schopfung. About a century and a half ago, we knew basically the distance to the nearest star. And now we are talking about knowing the universe and the parameters that control the universe, the evolution of the universe, to about 5%. The observable universe is something like uh, 100 trillion trillion meters across. Have scientists taken the public with us as we explore the universe? Are we any more successful in conveying to the public our ideas, our excitement, and our confusion? Are we bridging the cultural gap? We've done a lot of extensive studying on what misconceptions people carry around about the galaxy, the universe, planets, and so on. And you've got to be able to start at some common point or some common ground and build on that. You have to expose them not just to the typical, you know, secondary education science program where they all take, you know, biology one and chemistry and that's it or something. But you want to try to expose them to really modern, cutting edge science. There are lots of um, of blogging sites and uh, devoted to particle physics and to cosmology and, and to science in general that have a lot of followers. Today, the pace of scientific discoveries about the mysteries of the cosmos is greater than it has ever been. I think bringing the beauty of the cosmos, the wonder of the cosmos, and what we've learned about it, but uh, I think just as importantly what we don't know about it, and the big questions that are still out there to be answered. And if you can present those in a way that uh, excite people, and inspire them, uh, pique their curiosity, uh, then I think that's the way to bridge that gap to, to those folks. Uh, it's hard to resist uh, you know, seeing a beautiful image of uh, two galaxies in their celestial dance of merging uh, and, and not be awe-inspired. So I want to thank everyone for, for coming. I want to thank this excellent panel hitting on some important topics. Hopefully everyone will go away being that much more excited about the, the science and the cosmology and, and culture. So thanks, guys. It was great.